hello guys, welcome back. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about Loki, and you know how if something's bothering us, he tells us to do something about it. Well, I had that lovely incident with that female today at the insurance office, and then I had, I called my friend, I needed to make a fax for my health insurance, and you know, then you need to call the office, so that made me full blah. But you know how she's always cheerful and she's always a shining example of human beings. She is 360 days a year. But if you catch her on one of those five days, woo! Unloaded on me, not yelling at me, but just sharing everything in life she does not like. And there's a dump truck of it and I felt like she was dumping sludge on me and I'm looking at Loki. And we both care about this woman, we like her, and we know people have to vent. But we were like, Whoa. this is a lot all at once. Um, so I got off the phone with her, and she's hit back to being happy as a clam because she dumped all of her stuff on someone else. Which doesn't, by the way, actually take care of it because it's all still inside there. You just, you dumped out your frustrations about it today. You've got to eventually make peace with it. But I'm not going to tell her that. She'll either figure it out at her age or she won't. Um, and I was feeling real crummy. And I was feeling like I, I need to cleanse and sage and everything. So we cleaned. And we made that our magic for today. And it's something you got to do anyways. you got to clean your house. you got to keep it clean and decent. So we cleaned. I went through here and I cleaned. And when you're doing it for a magical purpose, it's like it takes no time at all. You just, you focus on your intent. Because you're focusing on your intent. You're not there, meh, 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 have to clean. Meh, meh. You're focusing on your intent. With every bit of dirt you're cleaning up, you're thinking of all the dirt you're cleaning out of your life. And I was thinking, I'm cleaning up all this dirt and I'm getting rid of all this dirt in my life. I'm getting rid of all my problems. And you just do that. You go through your whole entire house or however much you can do physically. I could do like a little bit in here and a little bit in the bathroom. And I, you know, vacuumed in there. And then I sage. I lit candles. And we had been playing energizing music while I was doing this. And it's great. It's really cathartic because it gets all the dirt out of your life because you're actually doing something. You're doing a physical ritual. That it's something mundane you have to do every day doesn't matter. It's still a magical practice if you're going to put intent behind it. Because that's all magic is. And I know people get so disappointed. Because they picked up a book somewhere. Especially if they picked up an older book from like 60s or the 70s. And magic's all spooky and hard to understand. Magic's just prayer with intent. If you're not comfortable with the word prayer, whatever. It's just talking to God, Loki, whomever with intent. And our intent was to not only get the house clean, which you have to do anyways, but to, you know, clean out all that sludge that she dumped on me. It wasn't her fault. She, five days out of the year, she has to do this. She has to vent. And we just happened to be standing there on the day she had to vent. And we didn't mind, because I told Loki, I said, I wondered what my cost was going to be, because she sent these two faxes for me for free. And I begged her, please take some money. And she wouldn't take money. And she wanted me to take money for the angel. I'm like, no, I just got you the angel. So I guess we're kind of even. And it felt good to push that stuff on, to let it go, to let it flow around me. Because you shouldn't try to carry other people's problems because you can't help them that way. And it felt good to let everything go, to let all the problems go. I will either get the health insurance help or I won't. It's like anything else in life. And I let go of that phone call and that nasty woman. And I let go of everything else. And we've, we're back to feeling pretty good. We're back to feeling pretty chipper. But that's practical magic you can do. And it doesn't take anything. If you don't have candles to light, don't worry about it. Um, I just do it because it makes me feel calm. And I say to you that because back in my better days, I bought... A floof ton of this stuff and I have it so I might as well use it holding on to it until it goes stale and isn't any good isn't going to do me any good so I might as well use it while I have it and when I don't have it then we'll figure something else to do so you know just it's an idea because I think 
people either have to make magic into Instagram magic where it's way too impractical because there's always like 500, 600, 700 or more dollars worth of products in a picture and you think, oh, I can't do this spell unless I go out and spend all this money and buy all these crystals and everything else. And you, you don't need any stuff to do magic. You can do practical stuff. You can make food. I'm a kitchen witch, so you can make food. And it's magic. You can clean your house and it's magic. You can go visit a friend and it's magic. Absolutely everything you do can be magic as long as you do it with intent. You don't have to go crazy. You don't have to think every time you're going to do something, oh, I'm going to do this or that. or Just, you know, do it naturally. And if you do need to put some intent into an act, then you put some intent into an act. If I just feel the next time I go to clean, I just feel like cleaning and nothing particular is bothering me, I, I don't, you know, put some magical oomph into it. But if I'm like, ugh. I'm lousy. I've, I've told you guys before, if if stuff's bothering me and I can't do anything else, I clean. And it helps because you're you're doing something symbolic. You're cleaning up all the dust and dirt and negative stuff and you're getting rid of it. So hopefully that helps you guys. And the old house is nice and clean for the holidays. Though I am the toddler, I often tell Loki I'm my own toddler. I'm my own child. I have to go through this house on a daily basis cleaning up after me. And I don't do anything. I'm like, how do I make so much dirt when I really don't do anything? I have no idea, guys. But you would think ten elephants lived in this house with me. And I'm like, how do I do this? How do I do this? And then you go to somebody's house and they got a couple people living there and the place is spotless. I got one grown woman living here and it will look like chaos in here at times. So I don't know. I'm doing something wrong. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.